Hello everyone, Draken84 here and welcome back to another Luck Be A Landlord video. So, you know what, I've been losing a lot again and I don't know what it is, so, you know, I'm just going to play another ladder streak. I, I haven't been able to finish the entire ladder streak, the ladder streak is we start on floor 1. If we win, we move on to floor 2 and floor 3, etc. And if we win all of them, then we win the ladder streak. Let's go. It, it, it helps to have sort of a palate cleanser like that, where you just... Um... Alright, let's be an adult. I think I... Yeah... Alright, I don't know. Um, it, it helps to have something like that where you just um, do something else and then get to the point where you are playing a little bit differently again. That really does help. Uh, let's pick up a second anchor. I, I don't feel very confident about what we're doing here, but... Honestly, on this difficulty, it doesn't matter too much what you do. You can just win with anything. I mean, you can still easily lose, but you really shouldn't lose too much. And maybe you can just get this fun uh, cultist build going. We, we skipped on the owl, right? If I picked up the owl, I would definitely pick up the birdhouse. I might still pick up the birdhouse, it's still pretty good. A mining pick and lucky seven, I, I just don't feel those. So, oh there's another, there's, yeah. So I've not seen a third cultist for like a hundred runs and then I go back to this low difficulty and I see all cultists. It's really weird how that works. I mean, it's just variants. Um, yeah, I don't know. If we see a black suit, are we going for it? I mean, we have so many cultists and they are so good. There's a rare. It's not one that's good for us right now, so we are not picking it up. But we have six empty, so we can just pick up the light bulb. It's always a shame to skip on a rare, but that rare is just not good. We are more than a rent payment ahead. That happens when you have so many cultists. Uh, three good items. We are ahead, so if we think that we are going to see at least three fish, then fish tank is going to be better in the late game. There's some math to this, right? There's, there's 90 spins in the entire game, and we need to find two fish before a certain time be for this to be better in the long run than horseshoe it's more fun i'm gonna pick it up we also have the hexatidium to make it more likely for us to see wow comments i don't feel like i'm using the black suits today let's pick up a key we need more symbols and key is basically free to pick up oh yeah we get like a million removal tokens on this difficulty i don't need a call but I don't think there are any downsides to picking it up here. 34. Magpie with the birdhouse. I mean, it's fine, but we don't... Ah, fine. We're full on symbols now, so... That's cool. Yeah, the these, these early difficulty levels, they're so easy. Um, but also... Sometimes you get lucky on top of that. Did we pick up the magpie? Yeah. So tax evasion gives 25. We already have infinite removal tokens, so big symbol bomb doesn't matter. jack o lantern could be fun, but I don't feel like picking up a toddler, so let's just get some money. Pinata. Don't need it. Let's just skip here. We are going to get good rares at some point. Ritual candle makes all our cultists better at our hex of tedium too. Cool. Um, yeah. So that was a cool run. Seventy this spin. Um, wine is a three value symbol. 
56, which is kind of a low roll. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. 42. I mean, it helps that we don't get have any duds, but yeah, we we picked a goddess on the first spin, and then we just got everything we ever wanted for the in the entire rest of the run. I mean, we haven't won yet. We could still lose purely in theory, but I don't think that's going to happen. It, it, so, I mean, this is this is what you want for a balance cleanser, right? Just start off fresh, get a good start, and bronze arrow should honestly be better right now. Did we pick up a small urn early? Yeah, so grave robber is great. We have all of these removal tokens and nothing to spend them on. We also picked a fish tank over a horseshoe, which doesn't do anything yet. So usually I'm not going to pick up a call here, but I mean, we have zero duds and we are like five rent payments ahead or whatever. So there's no consequences to doing that. 60, yeah. Yeah, let's pick up a cultist. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. I, I hope you are enjoying this. I mean, it's kind of different type of content in a way. I should definitely have just picked up the peach there. Right, it, it allows us to remove more symbols and we can remove it whenever we want because we have infinite removal tokens anyway. We were very close to being able to uh, pay 777 already. Booster Pack Essence should be insane. Let's do that. And then I guess Quiver Essence because I don't want either of the other ones. This is a guaranteed rare. So let's skip on the spirit and get a strawberry. The Trishka doll should honestly be better. I don't know. Clear Sky doesn't do anything. So let's pick the horseshoe. 21 symbols, but we have two zero value symbols, so let's give it a while. Nice. Mm, milk is free, so let's pick it up. Nice. We could reroll to try and find more goldfish, I guess. But we don't need that. I mean, it's interesting because we are in a situation where we are kind of struggling a little bit to find things that make our build better, which is something that happens on higher difficulties too, but then you're not this far ahead. Yeah, we need to pick up the big ore. I'm just removing coin first, I guess. There's a lot that we want to remove. Definitely the B. 61. Um, we have a pizza the cat essence at some point, which would have made cats better. I think we picked a booster pack essence over that, and I think that's a lot better. 61. Um, yeah, let's pick up another coal. <laughs> uh, no difficulty means no consequences. 62. We are over 800. Don't want Robin Hood. Moon? I mean, Moon doesn't do anything for us, right? Bartender doesn't do anything. Farmer? So we have a strawberry. Second strawberry, that's the best thing we could get. Let's pick a booster pack and see what happens. Another call. Another skip. Another skip. Another skip. Another skip. Matrushkadol. Let's pick up another Hex of Tedium just because. And there's a Witch. Which is also a 3 value symbol. It is just kind of fun. Yeah, we have Ritual Candle which makes Witch into a 3 value symbol. And we, we have two Hexes of Tedium. So this is... Yeah, this is fun. Uh, 28 symbols. So we get to remove like a million things. 
We want to go down to 23 symbols. Let's go like this for now. I guess 24, because we still have this um, Matushka doll. And we're going to get our boosted pack essence in a second, which is going to give us a very rare. We are incentivized to uh, keep reroll tokens around because we definitely don't want an Eldritch creature. And if that's what pops up, then we want to be able to reroll it. Um, hey. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, why is okay? Doesn't do that much. It's just a three value symbol. No, it's mine is just bad. Pirate watermelon wild card. I think. Oh yeah, pirate removes our orange. Allows us to pick up other stuff. Yeah, that's fun. Like a lockbox. Let's uh, try to keep two removal tokens on hand always. I mean, I don't think there's any chance of us running out during this run, but who knows? Oh yeah, we had all of those anchors. I think we, we removed one earlier. There's a coin. We removed the coin too at some point. All right, we're over 1,000. Um, sure, credit card essence. Let's pick up the X-ray machine essence. I don't assume we're using it, but we could. There's a diver. We don't have anything for the diver to do yet, but we might. Flush is fine because then we get some free money. And now we get the um, red card essence, which gives us probably a cultist. I mean, we just want all cultists if we can, <laughs> right? There's a goldfish which would give us plus one, but yeah. 73. I don't think I need another urn. I think a big urn is fine, but a regular urn probably not 85 yes I uh, have to remember not to skip any suits oh I should have picked up the oyster for the diver well whatever 76 yeah let's pick up suits I don't think I'm picking up another goal I mean we're already at the point where our uh, cultists might actually be better than our diamonds. Yeah, they are. Don't want to milk. Kind of want to remove the magpie next. There's the oyster. Let's get that um, diver nice and fat. Um, and don't worry if you are worried that this... Um, um, Letter Streak is going to be too easy, well, we will see. Um, King Midas works with the pirates, and we can always remove it later. Let's try it. Let's remove the magpie. Um, I mean, things are going to get more difficult, and it's always fun to see the difficulty just move up and up. I think that's, that's just one of the fun things about doing a ladder streak. Um, we have a big ore and we have an X-ray machine essence. We should probably pick up a miner if we see one. 82, anchor. I don't know how long I'm planning to keep um, uh, King Midas around, but... oh. You know what, I'm I'm probably removing him right now. The pirate is already very strong and we, we are removing stuff anyway, so yeah. I think that's fine. We have um, added a bunch of coins. The pirate is now solid endgame material. 
And you don't need the pirate to be like a 20 value symbol, you just need it to be good enough. And our entire build already was good enough. I mean, uh, everything we're doing right now is just for style points. Hundred twenty-four, yeah. Um, guess we do a gray pepper and Undertaker essence, I guess. Uh, all of these are just bad for us. So skip. Protractor doesn't do anything. Let's pick the cleaning rack for all of our diamonds. I mean, the fact that we have this many diamonds is because we were so far ahead. And we were so far ahead because of the cultists. So, I mean, there's some nuance to all of this, right? It's not like we... Uh, uh, right, when you're ahead, it makes it easier to get further ahead. So that's something that, right, that might actually be the most important lesson for that, that you get by playing on lower difficulties, or at all really. Because... Right, when, when, when you're playing at the... Um, when, when you're playing it's very easy to just um, get the numbers that you need in order to, um, to make the next friend, but you need to move beyond that and I think I'm usually playing too greedily uh, for like short-term gains where I'm not giving enough credit to how strong I need to get in the long run. I don't think Void Creature is even good here. I don't know. Doesn't really matter. We're going for 777 here and then we're quickly destroying the Landlord. And then we've... We've won a run after that. Building Glove is going to give us more money from the treasure chest, so that's cool. We're going to keep two uh, removal tokens around. When we use them, the Grey Pepper gives us money. Hundred and nine cent dollars, fine. For some reason, I'm still investing in making. Uh, are good symbols better even though it would be better to just never pick anything up again and just go ahead but I mean picking stuff up is fun and getting bigger numbers is fun I mean right that's like point of both clicker games and even games like this that you just want your numbers to get bigger 18. At this point it doesn't really matter anymore if I pick up more cultists or more diamonds. Already won. 110. Hey, there's finally a goldfish. I'm picking that over an essence capsule even though the essence capsule will almost certainly give us more money. Yeah, let's um, stop picking up random stuff for our eaters. Doesn't gain us anything anymore. 777 time for the landlord fight of course on this low difficulty the landlord only has 750 hp uh great rubber essence i guess flash essence sure i don't want either of the other ones treasure chest for the pirates and then i mean i don't know I don't want the piggy bank, it's going to make it a little bit slower to beat the landlords and then the rolling costs more and yeah, we get so few fine prints here. 110, yeah. Hex of Destruction? No, I'm going to remove Hex of Destruction which also gives us 30 bucks. Now we can just remove the cat now. Cat was always next on the chopping block. There's so much for the pirate to do. Yeah, let's give the pirate more to do. Cannot enable disable items. Three side die gives less. Um, 
right? Wh whether the pirate does something or not doesn't matter because we have one with room to spare. There we are, skip one less, landlord adds a dud. Everything completely fine. We have a few very rares. And on the next rent cycle, we win. And uh, the next spin. Spin to win. Yep. With a lot of room to spare. <laughs> yep. Every once in a while, it's kind of fun to to uh, look at these uh, these <laughs> runs on uh, these super low difficulties. I haven't played a lot on apartment floor one. Um, apparently, I lost the previous one. Don't know how that happens. Well, in any case, I mean, <laughs> um, that was fun. So next time we are going for on uh, floor two. Apparently, <laughs> I lost there too. I don't know what what happened there. I've been playing for fun a little bit too, and sometimes then you try random stuff, and sometimes you lose. Uh, it's kind of a short episode, but I hope it's entertaining and I hope you're looking forward to the rest of this ladder streak because I'm enjoying these ladder streaks a lot and it shakes things up um, and I hope that's fun. So see you next time on the ladder streak. Goodbye.